Hi, I'm Carl Friesen, and this video is going to show you how you can add credibility to your LinkedIn profile by publishing content like articles and videos and blog posts. And I'll be showing you how to do this with examples from my own profile. Now, LinkedIn gives you three main options for doing this, and I'm going to tell you about all three. Option one involves your publication section. Option two involves uploading PDFs and other content. And the third way is through your articles section. To use any of these, you need to pull up your own profile, so I'm going to do that. LinkedIn will put you into edit mode, which you can tell by all these little blue pencils that are all over the place. So if you were to click on any of those pencils, you can make changes to that section of your profile. And to add some publications, the first method, you're going to need a publication section. And if you don't have one, you'll have to add it by clicking on the blue box up in the upper right hand corner. And LinkedIn will suggest some things it thinks you should add. And you should pick the one that says publications and you add that one. Now I've already got that added so you don't see that here. So I'm going to scroll down to my publication section. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Here we go. Your publication section will appear under accomplishments. So here's the top of my publication section, which I'm going to open by clicking on this down arrow. And there we see more publications. And as you can see here, you've got the title of the publication, you've got the date, you've got the publication it appeared in, and you've got a summary of it. And if I am to click on this See Publication, it opens up another window with a copy of that article. So writing case studies to help build your career. Here's how you can add that kind of content to your profile for an article that you've written. You will click on the plus sign and you want to add a publication. So you click here and LinkedIn opens up this dialog box. You're going to add the title, which is how to get the attention of top executives, the side the sidestep method. And the publication is from a friend of mine's blog. And it already knows what to put in there. Savo Neal's consulting blog. And it ran on June the 1st, 2017. Now, I'm the only author of this particular article. I can add another author if I want to, but I need to put in the URL for the publication, which I've got here. And I'm going to paste it in right here. And now I've got a description of that pre-written. So I'm going to copy that and paste it in. That's all you need to do. You just hit save and that article will then be published to your profile. So that's the publication section. Now I like that particular way to publish content because it puts everything in one place and that list can get pretty impressive if you scroll through it. But it's not really as useful if you don't have a URL for the article because the person looking at your profile can't see what you've listed. Some of the publications I write for keep their content behind a paywall, so I can't offer a link to the article. So for those, I use the upload function of LinkedIn. And this is your second way to post content to your profile. It's really flexible because you can add content to just put any place in your profile that you see a little blue pencil. So to do that, you need to have the content, article, video, slideshow, or something else in a file on your computer. It could be a PDF of the article you've written, and that's what I'll show you how to add. I'm going to put this article under my experience section in my current employer, which happens to be me. So to do this, I'm going to click on the blue pencil for that section, not the plus sign, and it opens up a description of that particular piece of experience. So I can scroll down and you can see here some of the content I've already got uploaded for this particular bit of experience. I'm going to hit the upload button and that will open up some of the information on my hard drive. From here, I need to find that content that I want to upload. It's right here. Hit open and LinkedIn is going to search for that and upload that piece of content. And there you have it. Now, this particular headline, the title they've got here, is pretty geeky. Now, the title of the article is just webinars. I'd rather it was a bit longer, a bit more descriptive. But I'm just going to take this back, and I'm just going to call this webinars. From here, I'm going to copy and paste some of the text for the description I've already got worked out. And there we have it. So I can now hit apply. 
and save. And if you will scroll down, you will then see this webinars article right beside that one. And if I click on that, there's the article itself. Pretty cool, huh? So that is a second way you can add content to your profile. The upload function can add some visual appeal to your profile and the image is a clickable link so people can see what you produced. And you can use the upload function to add work samples for each of your jobs or your academic qualifications as well. The third way to post content to your LinkedIn profile is what used to be called posts and LinkedIn now calls articles. It's a way that a lot of people publish their blog and it means taking original content and then publishing it to your profile. As you can see, I've got 17 articles that are actually posted to my LinkedIn profile. So I'm going to pick one. I'm going to scroll down to one, this one right here. It's called Articulating Your Why Gives You an Edge. So we click on it. There is this article. That's a picture I took myself, so there aren't any copyright issues on it. It's a picture of a medieval church I visited in Spain, and the article uses a cathedral building as an example, so the picture kind of fits the uh, content of the article itself. So if I were to scroll down here and click on this icon for a chart, LinkedIn's going to look back and forth and it's going to find some information on this particular blog post. And as you can see, it's had 201 clicks, it's got 25 likes, and it's had five comments. And I can find out more about the people who actually looked at the article, including the fact that quite a few of them are out of Australia, out of the US, and four out of the Frankfurt on Main area in Germany. Four from New York City, great. And I can also see that 30 people came through, through Facebook. Down here, I can see that most of the clicks came from my second degree network. So of those 200 people, quite a few people didn't know about me before, but they do now. So that's a really good way to publish some content. Now, the weird thing about publishing articles is that you don't publish them from your own profile. What you do is you publish them from your news feed. And to get there, you click on the home button. And here you will see at the top a box that says write an article. So we're just going to write an article. And what LinkedIn gives you is this dialog box. Now I suggest you not to write your article right here. I mean, LinkedIn is kind of clumsy as a text editor. I suggest you write your article in Word or some other program and then paste it in. Now one small point, don't put a vertical space between your paragraphs because LinkedIn will do that for you. And then you got two spaces and you have to take one of them out. I'm gonna paste in the article that I've saved in my clipboard right here. So there's the article, it's about 2,000 words long. So I'm gonna take this headline, take it out of there and paste it in here. There, we got it. Okay, so now we need to paste in a picture. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm going to look for the picture that I put on my hard drive for this purpose. And I'm gonna click open and LinkedIn is going to then upload that to here. And it actually fits kind of nicely. Um, sometimes you've got to move the picture up and down in order to make it fit better. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to hit publish. And LinkedIn will ask me for some hashtags and other information to put in that help people find this. So I'm going to put this under thought leadership and um, content marketing. and hit publish. And there we have it. Now I like the articles format because they're a good way to publish the original long form content. It's quite easy for your connections to forward, like, or comment on what you've written. And this brings your ideas to the attention of people in their networks as well. So there you have it. Three ways to post ideas to your LinkedIn profile. In your publication section, as an upload, or as an article.